All right, guys, so now that we've set up our product and campaign and we've integrated our payment gateway and we've set up our funnel, it's time to uh, test the funnel out and see how it does. Uh, first thing you're going to want to do is in the campaigns area, you're going to want to change your campaign status to test mode. This is so that uh, payments don't actually physically get generated, but rather um, that that payment part gets bypassed and the transactions go through as if they were real payments. So PayKixot will actually behave as if it was a real payment, but it won't actually process any payments. All right, so we'll go back over to funnels over here. I just want to show you the structure that we do have. So I believe it's this one. Okay, so on the front end, we have three products. Um, so three products on the same landing page with different price points. And uh, then after one of those products are purchased, they are redirected to the uh, next upsell page, which is this uh, strategic campaign. And after that's purchased, they are sent to the live campaign, which is right there. And at the end, they should redirect to PayCakeStart's default thank you page showing them their purchases. All right, so we've already embedded the checkout page links over here. So that's already done. I don't need to worry about that. So we're just going to go straight on to the uh, front end landing page and we're going to test the funnel. So we'll, this uh, button here already has the link from PayCakeStart. So I'm just going to click buy now. All right, so let's put our demo information in here. Okay, and you'll see here it says test mode is enabled, no payment is required, okay. Um, I also have multi-currency enabled, so it's showing it in my currency. Um, if I switch to US dollars though, you'll see that it's the actual price of the product. Um, I'm also told here uh, how much I'm going to be paying and how um, and then how much it costs each month thereafter okay so i'm going to click buy now all right so that purchase is now complete and you'll see that i am now on the strategic campaign so if we come back to our funnel we're now at the second step which is the strategic campaign so so far so good so i'm going to scroll down to the bottom and find the buy now button and there it is go ahead and click that all right, and you'll, you'll see that PayKixot actually remembers my information from my previous purchase, which is really cool. So I don't have to fill that in again. Um, and its test mode is enabled, so I'm just going to hit buy now. Okay, and now I'm at the live campaign. So once again, yes, yes, uh, and yes, I'm at the live campaign now. So I'm going to scroll down over here click the buy now button now bear in mind that the reason why i'm being sent to a checkout page after each uh, landing page is because i don't have one click upsells enabled if one click upsells were enabled this checkout form wouldn't even show up in between each landing page there'd be a um, like a land uh, like a intermediate page that pops up that says processing please wait and then they'll be immediately redirected to the next step in your funnel. Um, and the reason why I don't have one click upsells enabled is because I'm using the PayPal platform. And unfortunately, because of the way PayPal is structured, there's no way to do one click upsells with PayPal. So um, in my case, it will always have these checkout forms in between um, unless I switch over to something like Stripe or Braintree. All right, so I've processed all three payments, and as you can see, I'm on the default thank you page that PayKixot generates for me, and you'll see um, each uh, transaction. So one platform, strategic campaign, and live campaign, and you'll see all of those are showing up here. And if I click the access purchase, you'll see um, it takes me to the access page URL, which we con um, set up in our uh, product settings. Okay, so that's... Um, that's all. Now let's if we go and have a look at um, our um, purchases. Obviously, we want to actually see that the physical transactions were generated. Okay, so I went into payment transactions, and then we have to just switch over to the test tab over here to see our test transactions. And there you'll see our three tests. 
So 8.53 a.m. was the one platform, then a minute later the strategic campaign, and a minute later the live campaigns. Now I recommend that you, that you delete these transactions when you're done with them and remove the associated subscriptions, or else you will continue to get each month your um, test rebills. So PayKXR treats these just like real subscriptions do, even though it's not actually charging anything. But um, um, they do get treated as if they were an actual real payment. So I do suggest you just delete these transactions and then afterwards um, make sure that the subscriptions are also deleted. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete these and then I'm going to switch over to subscriptions and make sure that I don't have any. I don't, so that's perfect. All right, and that's how you test your funnel.